Welcome. I understand that some members of the media are now joining our live virtual press event today. Thank you very much for joining us. We will get started in just one moment as soon as we have filled our gallery. Good afternoon. I am Hillary Armstrong. I'm a public information officer with the County of Santa Clara Emergency Operations Center. Thank you for being with us here today for this virtual media availability to highlight the expansion of vaccination capacity throughout Santa Clara County. Today, we are pleased to announce the partnership between the County of Santa Clara and the City of Mountain View to open a new vaccination site at the Mountain View Community Center. Today, we're honored to have the following speakers with us. We have Mountain View Mayor Ellen Hame, Supervisor Joe Simidian with the County of Santa Clara, District 5, and Dr. Jennifer Tong, Associate Chief Medical Officer with Santa Clara Valley Medical Center. Also present with us today, we have Mountain View City Manager, Kimber McCarthy, and Mountain View Community Services Director, John Marchand. We will begin today's event with the English and American Sign Language portion of the media availability followed by a question and answer period with our media. During the question and answer session, media will have the opportunity to ask questions of our speakers. Please select the raise hand function and the moderator will call on you and send you a request to unmute. Please hit the unmute button to ask your question. Following the conclusion of the English and ASL portion of our event, we will move to statements from our PIO language access team in Spanish, Vietnamese, Chinese, and Tagalog. With that, I am now very pleased to introduce Mayor Ellen Kamei with the City of Mountain View. Mayor Kamei, thank you very much. Great, thank you so much. Good afternoon. I'm Ellen Kamei, Mayor for the City of Mountain View. I'm pleased to be here today with the County of Santa Clara in opening a vaccination site right here in Mountain View. We are committed to bringing COVID-19 vaccinations to the public as quickly and safely as possible. As of today, January 22nd, our Mountain View Community Center will serve as a vaccination site by appointment only Monday through Friday for the public. This is wonderful news as this location will help serve North County in its vaccination efforts. And this is no easy feat. Just imagine having to convert a community center in record time into a vaccination hub that will provide up to 1,000 vaccinations per weekday, per weekday for our community. I must call attention to the incredible work done by our city staff to make this happen under the leadership of our city manager, Kimber McCarthy, and community services director, John Marchand. This effort involved having the appropriate configuration and equipment to meet public health protocols for giving vaccinations, along with the needed security, information technology, traffic control, and facility setups. Mountain View was ready and willing to answer the call to action and provide the necessary leadership in standing up a vaccination site right away in partnership with the County of Santa Clara. It's another way we are enhancing access to vaccinations, especially for our most impacted communities. In less than a week's time, even over a holiday, we were willing to do what was necessary to bring this vaccination clinic to our city because we are at a critical junction in this pandemic throughout Santa Clara County. Here at the city of Mountain View, we have a can-do spirit that our employees have demonstrated throughout the last 10 months of this public health crisis. In fact, Mountain View continues to collaborate with the county in bringing free and convenient COVID-19 testing to the public in our city on a regular basis, in providing safe parking lots at several locations for our unstably housed individuals. We look forward to continuing our partnership with the county along with County Supervisor Joe Simidian and his office as we continue to fight this pandemic together. In closing, through this collaborative effort, 
we are making it more convenient for Mountain View residents and others who live and work nearby in North County to get vaccinated against this highly contagious virus. And it is my pleasure to introduce our Santa Clara County Supervisor, Joe Simidian. Mr. Simidian, take it away. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Mayor Kamei. Uh, thank you again. I, I really do want to uh, say thank you a third and final time, both uh, to the mayor and her council colleagues and to the city staff. Uh, I have often described Mountain View uh, as a caring community with a can-do city government, and uh, this is yet another example of both that uh, caring and can-do attitude. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Um, I, I should perhaps uh, reintroduce myself. I'm County Supervisor Joe Simitti, and I represent the Fifth Supervisorial District, which is the northwest portion of Santa Clara County. And there are roughly 400,000 people in my district, as there are for each of the five county supervisors. Uh, and as we uh, face down this challenge of distributing vaccine uh, throughout the county and throughout my district, uh, I, of course, have been concerned about the importance of making sure that we had adequate distribution facilities here in uh, the northwest portion of the county. I, I think it's important to revisit just briefly how challenging this effort has been and acknowledging it, you know, the, the rollout was not uh, what we had all hoped for. Uh, and it is a complicated system for better or worse. Uh, and I'm not interested in laying blame or uh, finger wagging. I just think we got to figure out, all right, how do we fix it and go forward as uh, quickly and safely as we possibly can? Uh, but for those of you who haven't been following uh, this challenge, you know, we're talking about uh, the state providing vaccine directly to two of our major providers in this area who are what are known as multi-county entities. That would be uh, Kaiser and the Palo Alto Medical Foundation slash Sutter. So uh, literally half the county uh, is probably covered by uh, these two organizations. They get their vaccine directly from the state. Uh, and uh, of course, we're looking to them to be uh, full partners and uh, standing up their vaccine programs as uh, quickly as they possibly can. Uh, then uh, we've got vaccine that's going to the VA, the Veterans Administration, uh, and Indian Health Service uh, directly from the federal government to uh, those two federal organizations. Uh, they're uh, off uh, doing their good work, uh, but again, it complicates the system. And then finally, we have vaccine coming straight to our county where we have to partner with uh, others as well as distribute the vaccine through our own organization. We have three county hospitals. We have nine primary care clinics. Unfortunately, none of them are located in the fifth district, the northwest portion of Santa Clara County, uh, where um, my constituents, 400,000 of them, uh, need access. So mindful of the fact that I have something like close to 40,000 uh, low-income Medi-Cal patients in my district, uh, the largest population of seniors who we know are most vulnerable uh, of any of the five supervisorial districts, I have been working with our county staff and with the folks at Mountain View to make sure we had a distribution center that would serve uh, this part of the county and uh, those populations in particular. Uh, again, a uh, complicated system. We have to distribute the vaccine not only through our own county clinics, but then we have to partner with folks like El Camino. Uh, we have to partner with folks like Stanford Healthcare. We have to partner with our community clinics. I'm thinking of Mayview uh, as part of the Ravenswood Health uh, System. So uh, all of that being said, Cut to the chase, finally. Uh, look, we needed a place uh, here in the North County to serve the uh, folks that are in our region uh, as we put our heads together and thought, uh, who can we work with to roll this out as quickly and expeditiously as possible? Uh, the answer was, let's work with the city of Mountain View. Uh, they've been good partners in the past. They are once again stepping up to be uh, a partner in this effort. The community center is a wonderful location. Uh, the location is well known to many. Uh, and uh, we're uh, really excited and delighted that we can uh, start today. I have said before, and I'll say it again, time is of the essence. We don't have a month to lose. We don't have a week to lose. Uh, we don't have a single day to lose. We just can't afford to let time go by. So it's uh, very gratifying to know that we are up and running uh, and that in short order, we'll be at 1,000 vaccinations a day at just this site, even as we uh, are exhorting our uh, partners in healthcare around the county uh, to do uh, their part to make sure that everybody is covered by the appropriate provider. Uh, last thing I'll say is, you know, to take a very complicated process and, and uh, make it simple, 
you need three things for a vaccine distribution program like this one. You need a location, and the City of Mountain View has provided that location. You need a team of qualified medical professionals and volunteers uh, to distribute the vaccine, uh, and the County of Santa Clara is stepping up to do that important work. Uh, and uh, you'll hear more from our uh, staff in just a moment. But the third thing you need, obviously, is the vaccine. Uh, and on that front, we, of course, have to wait uh, to hear from the state. Uh, we are dependent on them, but uh, we have the location. Thank you, City of Mountain View. Uh, we have uh, the trained staff. Thank you, Santa Clara County Health System. Uh, and now, uh, as long as we have the vaccine, we are in a position to get to 1,000 people a day in short order. That is uh, very gratifying uh, to me and I know to uh, anxious constituents from whom I've been hearing. A uh, person we're gonna hear from next, uh, and that I wanna turn this over to uh, again with my thanks, is Dr. Jennifer Tong from our Santa Clara Valley Medical Center. Uh, she is um, able to respond to the uh, medical questions that I suspect some of you may have. Uh, so let me turn it over to her. Dr. Tong, thank you for being with us and um, thank you for all the good work uh, to get us to this place today. Thank you, Supervisor Smidian. On behalf of the County of Santa Clara Health System, I am very excited that we are partnering with the City of Mountain View to launch this vaccination site. We have an impressive team on the ground here, comprised of staff from the City of Mountain View, community volunteers, staff from multiple county departments, including Valley Medical Center. And with their dedication and their expertise, we were able to quickly open this site which provides appointments to up to 1,000 people per weekday, 5,000 people per week. This is the third community-based mass vaccination site operated by the county. And this increases our capacity to reach community members who are most in need of access. In addition to these three community-based mass vaccine sites that we operate, we also have significant capacity in our Valley Health Center clinics including in our Valley Health Center in Gilroy, increased capacity for up to 600 vaccines per day. To date, our county health system has provided more than 60,000 doses of vaccines administered to eligible community members by our system. That includes more than 50,000 first doses and now almost 10,000 second doses. Our county continues to have a strong commitment to equity and multiple efforts to reach the hardest, hardest hit communities by COVID-19. We are focused on helping people overcome barriers to accessing the vaccine. In fact, throughout the week, we've had a team on the ground in some of the hardest hit communities, providing logistical support for scheduling vaccination appointments. Our county sites continue to vaccinate any healthcare provider in phase 1A as defined by the state of California, as well as individuals over the age of 75. As the supply of vaccination increases, we expect to expand that eligibility. Our county continues to devote significant resources to fight this pandemic. Setting up these mass vaccination sites has been an extraordinary effort while we also maintain significant mass testing sites, as well as other significant services across the community to support individuals throughout this pandemic. This vaccine is a critical tool and hopefully our way out of the pandemic, but we continue to await additional supply of vaccine to best serve all in our community. We encourage the public to remain vigilant while we work tirelessly to achieve this level of protection across our community. We have recently seen a decrease in cases and decrease in hospitalizations, which are the impact of everyone being particularly cautious. It, please don't let your guard down now. Please continue to wear a mask or face covering, stay home except for essential activities, maintain your distance, and be ready for when your turn comes to be vaccinated. For more information about eligibility and information about how to schedule a vaccine, please visit our website, sccfreevax.org. And with that, I will turn it over to uh, Hillary Armstrong for questions and answers. Thank you. Thank you very much to all of our speakers today. 
We will now move into the question and answer portion of today's media availability. If you would like to ask a question, please select the raise hand function. I will then call on you and send your request to unmute. Please click on the unmute button to unmute yourself and your audio will then be disabled once the speaker responds. And if you have any challenges using the raise hand function, please feel free to uh, put a message in the question and answer and I will attempt to call on you. Thank you very much for your patience. With that, I will first go to Tamara Mino from, um, and when you, um, when I call on you, please also state your, um, state your name and affiliation. And I am having a slight, if my team could help me, I'm having a slight difficulty calling on folks through the attendee panel. So please hold and we will do our best. Thank you. Hi, yes, can you hear me? Hi, yes, yes, this, yes. Is, yes this is Tamara Mino with Univision, Spanish stations. So yes, we know there are gonna be a thousand doses daily. Tamara, it sounds like we lost you for a moment. We had the first part of your question. Uh, we will attempt, it looks like we, oh, it looks like we lost you altogether. So we will come back to you. Hopefully, hopefully she can log back on. Um, with that, I will next go to, um, to Ron Lin. If someone on my team could please unmute him. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay, great. <laughs> this is Ron Lin with the LA Times. Thank you to all of you for taking our questions. We really appreciate it and your service. Dr. Tong, can you share with us why you think cases and hospitalizations have begun to decline? Do you think it's a, a partly a result of the regional stay at home order? And do you think fewer people gathered over Christmas than they did over Thanksgiving? Also, is there any new information about the Danish variant identified as playing a major role in some large outbreaks in Santa Clara County? Is there any new information about that you can share? Thanks so much. Sure, to answer your question about the variants, um, I don't have additional new information to share about that. Um, in terms of the decrease in hospitalizations and cases, Yes, the, the time course of that decrease does correspond to what we would expect from the um, uh, first the local and then the regional stay at home order. And I think is a, a reflection of um, our community continuing to um, heed the advice of our public health officials and uh, listen and um, uh, take those necessary precautions when, um, uh, when we communicate the need to do so. Thank you, Dr. Tong. We'll go to Jesse Gary for the next question. Um, I will. Hello, uh, it's Jesse Gary from KTVU, Fox 2 here in the Bay Area. And my question is, um, we understand that people who uh, are 75 and older are getting vaccinated, but the governor has, uh, has mandated that now people 65 and older can get vaccinated. How long do you think it will be before people 65 and older can be vaccinated? And how much of um, a stumbling block has it been to, to not have the, the vaccine coming in? Enough of it anyway. I can take that. Um, so in terms of timeline for those age 65 and older, unfortunately, it's very difficult to project a timeline and I, I wouldn't want to get people's hopes up by um, projecting a timeline that is purely dependent on variables outside of our direct control. Um, the, that variable really is the availability of the vaccine. Um, as, as the availability increases, we are preparing to increase our capacity further in terms of additional space and additional staff um, to match the availability of more vaccine. And this then, is so, supervised. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Dr. Tong. To answer your question about how big of a stumbling block that has been, it's a significant stumbling block. Um, it, it is one of the reasons why we don't release appointments further into the future, because we're really trying to meet, meet that uh, supply and demand. Um, and uh, it tried to avoid canceling appointments due to lack of vaccine, although that is a potential reality that we might face. 
um, if vaccine um, uh, allotment and delivery doesn't um, keep up with our rate of appointments. Jesse, this is Joe. Speculative, perhaps, than Dr. Tong feels comfortable uh, being. I, I've been uh, pushing on this same issue because I've been getting the question from constituents. If you were to ask me, I would tell you I think we're looking at some time between mid-February and late February before significant numbers of folks in that 65 to 75 category uh, are likely to be um, uh, getting uh, vaccines in our area. Keeping in mind that uh, it, it, of course, is a function of vaccine availability, uh, not only to our county uh, as a county entity, but also uh, you know, for a million of the two million people in our county, uh, Kaiser and uh, Palo Alto Medical Foundation slash Sutter. So, uh, but as as I look at the uh, number of folks uh, still in that 75 and up category and uh, frontline healthcare workers uh, who uh, still need to receive the vaccine plus the vaccine delivery, I, I, what I've told people is uh, with the caveat that Dr. Tong offered, uh, look, I, I think no one knows until and unless we receive the vaccine, but my best estimate is uh, sometime between mid-February and late February before we'll see uh, 65 and ups in any significant number in the system. Thank you very much. Next, we will go. Please unmute yourself. Thank you. Hey, can you hear me? We can, Kevin, and we want to know what your favorite city in Santa Clara County is. Oh. Oh, geez, it might be Mountain View. Um, I just want to make things crystal clear about eligibility at this uh, vaccination site. Uh, my understanding uh, is that it, it may, and in fact, might be uh, just count people who are served by the county health and hospital system, as opposed to someone who has Kaiser or Sutter um, for insurance. Um, so I just want a clarification on that. And uh, if someone could maybe address that on the fact that that is only a, a small minority of the people who, who live in this area. Thanks. I can take that. So our our website, the sccfreevax.org, is the the best source of information in terms of eligibility. Um, the a population who are eligible to schedule an appointment uh, here at this site in Mountain View um, uh, include those who are healthcare workers, uh, further defined on that website, and those who are um, 75 or older. People who fall into those categories who live in our county are eligible to be vaccinated here. We do encourage individuals to first check with their healthcare provider, and uh, those details are also available on our website. Um, but we do encourage individuals to first check with their provider to see if um, vaccination appointments are available via that route, since some um, uh, vaccine distribution and allocation um, uh, is given to those providers, such as Sutter and Kaiser, for um, those who receive primary care through those systems. But at this point in time, due to the um, uh, limited availability of vaccine um, to those providers, we, we do um, uh, allow such individuals to be vaccinated at this site. Dr. Tong, this is uh, Supervisor Sumidian, and if I can help clarify the question a little for Kevin Forestieri. Um, uh, however, uh, while we may have something like 300,000 patients in our system as patients of uh, the Valley Health and Hospital system, um, we also have a lot of folks in the county who simply don't have a health care provider. Uh, they also would be eligible to come uh, if they were gig workers without a plan, if they were young invincibles in that 2030 category who just didn't have health insurance or a regular provider, uh, they could come as well, yes? Most definitely, and in fact, that's why we ask people to first check with their own healthcare provider, because um, to the extent possible, we would like to um, uh, preserve access for those who, who don't have a provider to go to, or maybe uh, go to a smaller provider who's not set up to be able to give vaccinations at this point in time. And uh, I have one more uh, follow-up with you, and then I'll stop uh, playing reporter and go back to being a county supervisor. Uh, in terms of your comments about the vaccine, what I heard you to say is, uh, we've got 2 million people in the county. If half the vaccine is going directly to the folks at Kaiser and Palo Alto Medical Foundation slash Sutter, 
we obviously can't have the county providing vaccine to 100% of the population if we're only getting uh, 50% of the doses. Is that a fair summary? That is a fair summary, yes. All right. Kevin Forestieri, I, uh, I hope I didn't steal all your follow-ups. I apologize. And, and Supervisor Samidian and Dr. Tong, if, if I might, you know, I think one of the, the things that we've been working with in partnership with the county is providing access, you know, whether that be access to um, COVID-19 tests, and now people have been asking for access to a vaccination site in North County. I think that, you know, we're willing, ready and willing to be a partner. And uh, I think that everyone um, is trying to play their, their role and their part to, to help bring vaccinations to their communities as quickly and safely as possible um, to, to the points that were made earlier. So I just wanted to kind of in include that as well um, because the, the demand is very high and we need to make sure that there's equal and equitable access throughout our entire county. And the yeah. city of Mountain View is committed to that. Thank you. And these other providers are, are the partners that Mayor Kamei is uh, reminding us are so critical. Nobody can do it all by themselves, but if everybody will take a part and do what they can, we can get this done. The folks at El Camino will be providing a uh, vaccine. Uh, the folks at Mayview Community Clinic in uh, Mountain View, a longtime provider, will be uh, providing vaccine. Uh, the folks at the Palo Alto Medical Foundation have a Mountain View uh, center as well. So um, this is um, one major part of the effort, but it is by no means, as the mayor's pointing out, the only one. Thank you all. And it looks like we have one final question from Amy Taxon. So we will unmute you. Please accept the unmute and ask your question. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Can you hear me okay? We can. Okay, great. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, um, how much vaccine did you request from the state for next week? And how much are you getting? And are you able to keep increasing the pace of vaccinations with the amounts you're receiving? And the fact that you need to be able to go back and provide second doses to those, I think you said it was 50,000 people who are already vaccinated. Sure. So the, the process for receiving vaccine, um, uh, it's not like placing an order and then part of our order gets fulfilled. The process is that we are told by the state what we are eligible to receive, and then we are allowed to say how much of that we want. Now, of course, we are currently saying we want 100% of everything that uh, the state is able to give us. Um, so as an example, um, our allocation countywide for next week um, is on the order of about 20,000 doses. Um, that's much smaller, much smaller than what any of us had hoped. Um, uh, fortunately, it does uh, add to some existing vaccine inventory that we have in order to hopefully get through the week um, of those who've already been scheduled. Um, in addition to that volume, we received 13,000 second doses, um, uh, which should meet the demand for the appointments we have upcoming for second doses. So it really is currently a week by week um, uh, assessment. And as I said, everything that the state is uh, offering to give us, we are absolutely um, uh, accepting. Um, and to the extent that, that there's an opportunity to, uh, to push for more, we are taking every opportunity to do so, um, but we're currently limited by that, that state allocation. Thank you very much. And it looks like we've been rejoining. Yes, raise your hand. We will unmute you for your question. And this will be our last question for the English and ASL portion. Thank you. Hi. Yes, thanks so much. I'm sorry I got disconnected. Uh, basically, the same question that was uh, recently asked regarding the thousand doses that will be available daily, because as we know, uh, those are first doses, right? So what, since people have to come back in three weeks for the second dose, are there going to be more than a thousand doses available daily after that? Or are the are you know the second doses for these people are going to be included in that in that thousand doses daily it's a good question it's a it's a complex um uh arrangement that we are trying to we're still trying to balance um during this first week of operation and likely the second week as well we'll be ramping up to that 1000 uh level and so um um, during these first several days, it will probably be on the order of um, five to 600 
first doses that we'll be giving. And at the time of that appointment, we'll be scheduling that second dose um, for the type of vaccine that we're giving here. That second dose will be four weeks out. Um, that does allow us some uh, ongoing capacity for first dose administration, but you're exactly right that uh, due to being limited by physical space, parking spaces, um, there will there will ebb and flow the number of first doses appointments that we're able to offer as opposed to second doses that have already been um, scheduled. Thank you very much. This concludes the English and American Sign Language portion of today's media availability. Thank you very much to all of our speakers. We appreciate your time and thank you to the media for joining us today. We will now proceed to our language access team from the Emergency Operations Center, beginning with Public Information mm -hmm. Officer Ricardo Romero Morales to provide a statement in Spanish. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. Muy buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Ricardo Romero Morales. Soy oficial principal de información pública aquí en el condado de Santa Clara. El día de hoy anunciamos que el condado de Santa Clara y la ciudad de Mountain View se asocian para abrir el sitio de vacunación de COVID-19 en el centro comunitario de Mountain View, localizado en el 201 Sur Ringstorf Avenue, y esto es con el apoyo del personal de la ciudad de Mountain View. El sitio de vacunación con cita previa operado por el condado proporcionará hasta mil dosis de vacuna, es decir, aproximadamente cinco mil por semana. Este, este es el tercer sitio de vacunación masiva lanzado por el condado y aumenta nuestra capacidad para llegar a los miembros de la comunidad que más necesitan acceso. También tiene una gran capacidad en el Valley Health Center, incluyendo los 600 por día en la ciudad de Gilroy. El sitio del centro comunitario ofrecerá vacunas con cita previa solamente de 8.30 de la mañana a 5 p.m. de lunes a viernes. El sitio comenzará a brindar servicios gradualmente para evitar retrasos en las citas y aumentar rápidamente para proporcionar hasta mil vacunas por día cada día de la semana. Debido al suministro limitado de vacunas, el condado y otros proveedores de atención médica en la región están ofreciendo vacunas al personal de atención médica y a los residentes de centros de atención a largo plazo, así como a personas de 75 años o mayores. A medida que haya más suministros de vacunas disponible, los proveedores de atención médica ampliarán el acceso a grupos adicionales. La ubicación de Mountain View ahora acepta citas a Para programar una cita para la vacunación, si es que usted ya califica, uh, por favor visite nuestro sitio web que es, es, está localizado en sccvacuna.org. Allí encontrará toda la información que usted necesita en español. El compromiso del condado con la equidad es llegar a las comunidades más afectadas y ayudar a las personas a superar las barreras para acceder a la vacuna. Para ello, el condado continúa dedicando recursos para combatir esta pandemia. Esfuerzos extraordinarios para hacer frente a un esfuerzo de vacunación a gran escala mientras se mantienen nuestros sitios de pruebas y otros sitios en toda la comunidad. La vacuna es una herramienta fundamental y nuestra forma de salir de la pandemia. Pero necesitamos suficientes vacunas para distribuir. El condado y otros proveedores están construyendo la infraestructura para llevar a la vacuna a la comunidad. El sistema, el sistema del condado trabaja estrechamente en colaboración con los socios y continúa liderando el camino. Hasta la fecha, se han administrado más de 60 mil dosis de vacunas a miembros de la comunidad quienes son elegibles. Aproximadamente 50 mil primeras dosis y casi 10 mil segundas dosis. Y por último, los funcionarios de salud pública les recomiendan a quedarse en casa tanto como sea posible. Sabemos que muchos ya están poniéndose la vacuna, pero es ahora cuando no tenemos que bajar la guardia. Es por ello que les estamos pidiendo que por favor continúen usando su tapabocas, también que mantengan ese distanciamiento social de más seis pies y también que digan no a las reuniones en persona. Gracias.
Up next, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Lee Bo, who will be providing a statement in Vietnamese. Xin chào quý vị, tôi là Khánh Ly, là nhân viên truyền thông của quận Hà Santa Clara. Ngày hôm nay thì quận Hà Santa Clara đã mở một cuộc họp báo để thông báo về việc mở rộng địa điểm chích ngừa tại Mountain View Community Center. Địa điểm này được mở ra nhờ vào sự phối hợp nhanh chóng giữa Hà Santa Clara và thành phố Mountain View và sẽ do quận Hạt điều hành. Địa điểm này chỉ cung cấp chủng ngừa khi đặt hẹn và có thể chủng ngừa lên đến 1.000 người mỗi ngày. Do hoạt động sẽ từ 8 giờ rưỡi sáng đến 5 giờ chiều từ thứ hai đến thứ sáu. Nếu như quý vị hội đủ điều kiện, quý vị có thể tìm thấy thông tin đặt hẹn tại sccfreevax.org. Hiện tại với số lượng thuốc chủng ngừa có hạn thì quận hạt chỉ cho phép những uh, chủng ngừa cho các nhân viên y tế trong giai đoạn 1A và những ai từ 75 tuổi trở lên. Đa số các cơ sở cung cấp y tế đi theo hướng dẫn của quận hạt, bao gồm cả Kaiser thì cũng đã thay đổi tiêu chuẩn hội đủ điều kiện chủng ngừa theo chỉ thị của quận hạt. Bắt đầu từ ngày 20 tháng 1 uh, năm 2021 thì Kaiser sẽ chỉ nhận đặt hẹn chủng ngừa cho những ai trong giai đoạn 1A và 75 tuổi trở lên. Ở Stanford bắt đầu mở rộng chủng ngừa cho những ai từ 65 tuổi trở lên. Trong tương lai, nếu như quận hạt nhận được thêm thuốc chủng ngừa thì chúng tôi sẽ mở rộng tiêu chuẩn hội đủ điều kiện để nhiều người được chủng ngừa hơn. Chúng tôi hiểu được sự thuận tiện rất quan trọng và trong tương lai chúng tôi sẽ mở rộng các địa điểm chủng ngừa để phục vụ người dân tại nơi họ đang sống và làm việc để có thể quý vị có thể lựa chọn cái địa điểm chủng ngừa gần với mình nhất. Đây là địa điểm tiêm chủng lớn đứng thứ ba mà quận hạt mở ra dành cho cộng đồng và sẽ giúp mở rộng tiêm ngừa đến các cư dân đang cần nhất. Cũng có các địa điểm tiêm ngừa lớn cho công chúng của Valley Health Center, bao gồm các địa điểm tại Gilroy với khả năng chủng ngừa lên đến 600 người một ngày. Hệ thống y tế làm việc chặt chẽ với các bên cộng tác. Hiện nay đã có hơn 60.000 liều thuốc chủng ngừa đã được tiêm cho những ai đủ tiêu chuẩn. Là 50.000 liều thứ nhất đã được đưa ra và 10, gần 10.000 liều thứ nhì đã được đưa ra cho cộng đồng. Quận Hạt cam kết sẽ công bằng tiếp cận các cộng đồng bị ảnh hưởng nặng nề nhất giúp cho những người uh, khó khăn có thể vượt qua được các rào cản để có được uh, tiêm ngừa. Uh, cho nên là trong thời gian này chúng tôi vẫn tiếp tục uh, khuyên quý vị hãy luôn thực hiện các biện pháp an toàn để chống lại COVID-19. Tất cả những thông tin về chủng ngừa COVID-19, bao gồm ai là người hội đủ điều kiện chủng ngừa, đặt hẹn như thế nào và liên đặt hẹn thì quý vị có thể tìm thấy ở trong trang mạng là sccfreevac.org và quý vị hãy chọn ngôn ngữ mà mình ưa thích. À, xin cảm ơn quý vị à, và sau đây thì sẽ có uh, cô An Chan là sẽ um, đưa đến cho quý vị cái thông tin bằng uh, tiếng Hoa. Uh, next, my colleague An Chan, Public Information Officer, will provide statement in Chinese.大家好,我是圣塔克拉拉县紧急行动中心的公共信息官Anne 更多民众能够接受疫苗就能够更有效地减缓病毒的传播 由于有限的疫苗供应，圣圣县和本地的其他医疗保健提供方，目前正在为医护人员和长期照护机构的居民以及七十五岁以上的人士提供疫苗的接种。随着疫苗供应量的增加，医疗保健提供方将可以扩大
和减低对医疗系统的压力。这些措施包括尽量的待在家中，出门的时候戴口罩，限制跟同住一起以外的家人朋友互动，和他人保持至少六英尺的身体距离，并且经常洗手。还有在有资格接种新冠疫苗的时候去接种。祝大家平安健康。Now, Jim Bell will be providing a statement in Tagalog. Magandang hapon, mga kababayan. Ako po ay si Jim Bell Batuampo, Public Information Officer ng Santa Clara County. Nagpartner ang county ng Santa Clara at lungsod ng Mountain View para magbukas ng lokasyon ng pagbabakuna para sa COVID-19 sa Mountain View Community Center. Ang lokasyon ng pagbabakuna na sa pamamagitan ng appointment lamang na pinapatakbo ng county ay magbibigay na hanggang sa isang libo ng mga doses ng bakuna mula lunes hanggang ugnayan sa pagitan ng county ng Santa Clara at ng lungsod ng Mountain View isang bagong lokasyon para sa maramihang pagbabakuna na para sa publiko ay magbubukas sa Mountain View ngayon. Ang Santa Clara Health system ng county ay magpapatakbo ng lokasyon ng pagbabakuna sa pamugitan ng appointment lamang sa Mountain View Community Center sa 201 South Rangstorf Avenue kasama ang suporta ng mga kawani ng, ng lungsod. Ang lokasyon ng community center ay mag-aalok ng pagbabakuna sa pamamagitan ng appointment lamang mula 8.30 a.m. hanggang 5 p.m. lunes hanggang bernes. Ang lokasyon ay magsisimula ng serbisyo ng dahan-dahan para mapigilan ang mga pag-antala ng appointment at bibilisan na kina sa kinalaunan para makapagbigay ng isang libo na pagbabakuna mula lunes hanggang bernes kada linggo. Ang mga kawani ng lungsod at ng county, kabilang ang mga kawani ng pampublikong kaligtasan, ay tutulong sa pagkontrol ng trafiko at seguridad sa pasilidad. Dahil sa limitadong supply ng bakuna, ang county at iba pang mga healthcare providers sa rehiyon ay kasalukuyang nag-aalok ng pagbabakuna sa mga healthcare personnel at mga residente ng long-term care facility, pati na rin ang mga taong may edad 75 at mas matanda. Sa pagdami ng magagamit na supply ng bakuna, ang mga healthcare providers ay magpapalawak na access sa mga karagdagang grupo. Ang lokasyon sa Mountain View ay tumatanggap ngayon ng mga appointments. Para mag-schedule ng appointments sa bakuna para sa COVID-19 sa lokasyon ito at iba pang mga lokasyon sa Santa Clara County, bumisita sa sccfreevax.org. Ang mga opisyal ng pampublikong pangkalusugan ay maraing nag-aabiso sa lahat na magpatuloy na gumawa ng mga hakbang sa paglimita ng pagkalat ng virus at pagbawas sa paghihirap ng ating healthcare systems. Sabi lang dito ang pagpapanatili sa bahay hanggat maaari, pagsusuot ng maskara kapag umalis sa bahay, paglilimita ng pagkikipaghalubido kasama ang iba na nasa labas ng inyong sariling sambahayan pagpapanatili ng physical na distansya ng hindi bababa sa anim na talampakang layo, madalas na paghuhugas ng makamay at pagpapabakuna para sa COVID-19 kapag ikaw ay kwalipikado. Bumisita sa website ng COVID-19 vaccine ng county sa sccfreevax.org para sa mga pinakabagong updates sa kwalipikasyon at pamamahagi ng bakuna. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much. Thank you to all of our speakers. Thank you to our media. Thank you to our ASL team. And thank you to our communications team here at the Emergency Operations Center. That concludes our media availability for today. We look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you.